And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Elocalacea, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was an abelosaur theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Nuquén Province, Argentina, in the Huincul Formation. It kind of looked like Carnotaurus, but without the horns. It walked on two legs, and it had a long tail and long legs and very short arms. It's considered to be medium-sized. There are several size estimates. There's some at 13 feet or 4 meters long and weighing 440 pounds or 200 kilograms, or 17 feet, 5.3 meters long, or 19 feet, 5.8 meters long and weighing 1,850 pounds or 840 kilograms. It's a pretty big size range. Yes. Although not quite as big as Polacanthus, which is like half a ton to two tons. This is like half a ton to, oh, actually a quarter of a ton to one ton. So I guess <laughs> it is still like a factor of four. <laughs> <laughs> Elocalacea was described in 1998 by Rodolfo Coria and Leonardo Salgado. Fragments of the skull and skeleton were found in 1991. The holotype included part of the skull, five articulated tail vertebrae, a couple neck and back bones, vertebrae, cervical ribs, and parts of, it was either the hands or the feet. I couldn't tell exactly based on the description because it's just a few bones. Maybe it's both. Well, it's good that they found part of the skull. That way they could tell that missing horns feature. True. How it differs from Carnotaurus, which is, I mean, honestly, just makes it less cool than Carnotaurus. Oh. Carnotaurus without horns is like, what's the point? <laughs> Ouch. I disagree. <laughs> I mean, there are some unique features in the skull bones and in the vertebrae, like in the hollow depressions in the bones. The type of species is Elocalacea aguata grandensis. And the genus name means flesh lizard or a flesh eating reptile. Pretty good name. That is a good name. Mm -hmm. And the species name refers to where the fossils were found in Aguata Grande. It lived in an arid environment. And other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include Carcharodontosaurus, such as Mapusaurus and Meraxes, Titanosaurs, including Argentinosaurus and Chucarosaurus, and Hadrosaurs. So it was quite a while before Carnotaurus then. There we go. Took some time to develop those horns. <laughs> if it's a direct ancestor, which I guess is a big question mark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good point. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.